Hello, I am Felix and today we are going to talk about natural selection. Here are the objectives. A good day to Prof. Mirabete and to all of the present learners. Before I start, I want you to all realize that all of us present today encompass desirable traits passed down from generation to generation. It made our lineage survive. With those desirable traits, organisms have been naturally selected to become what they are now. As what Charles Darwin have said, This preservation of favorable variations and the destruction of injurious variations I call natural selection or the survival of the fetus. To have an idea regarding natural selection, the definition, history, and core principles should be tackled. Natural selection is a mechanism for evolution. Organisms that adapt to the environment will live and pass the genes that enable them to thrive. This process allows species to evolve and diverge throughout time. Natural selection is one of the theories that explains why millions of species exist on Earth. The HMS Beagle Expedition Charles Darwin was the ship's naturalist from 1831 to 1836. During his journey, they have explored biomes in different places. The Galapagos Islands, however, were the most popular and well-known destination along the expedition's path. Charles Darwin noticed remarkable differences in the morphology and behavior of comparable animals on different islands. He observed a connection between the archipelago and the species that inhabit distinct regions. He watched discrete adaptations in organisms specialized for their niche. These observations later played an important role in Darwin's conceptualization of the theory of evolution by natural selection, emphasizing the relevance of environmental conditions in driving species evolution. His important contribution, especially on the origin of species, published in 1859, it questioned commonly accepted religious and scientific concepts regarding the beginnings and diversity of life. Darwin used information he collected while traveling on the HMS Beagle and the knowledge from geology. Natural selection has its core principles. First is the variation. Second is the heredity, and third is the differential survival and reproduction. Variation refers to the qualities that vary among individuals in a population. These differences can be generated by mutations in the genome, recombination, or environmental causes. Heredity refers to the passing down of qualities from parents to offspring via genetic inheritance. This principle is crucial to natural selection because it ensures that desirable features are passed down to subsequent generations. Differential survival and reproduction refer to individuals with features that provide advantages in a given environment who are more likely to survive and reproduce than those with less beneficial qualities. And of course, in order for natural selection to occur, it has its mechanisms. First is the overproduction. Second is the variation, third is the selection, and fourth is the adaptation. Overproduction happens when organisms produce more offspring than can survive to adulthood, leading to heightened competition for limited resources and struggle for survival in a population. Variation is the differences between individuals within a group. Only the most well-adapted individuals will survive and reproduce. Due to overproduction and variations, Competitions will arise, and therefore, selection will occur. Selection is the process by which specific qualities become more or less frequent in a population over time. The selection may be directional, stabilizing, or disruptive. Adaptation tells that the traits of the individuals that survive, reproduce, and thrive will become more common. The better adapted organisms will more likely survive and pass their DNA, emphasizing the survival of the fetus. Today, there are numerous evidence supporting what Charles Darwin have provided. It can be with the fossil records, comparative anatomy, molecular biology, and observational studies and distribution of the organisms. But in the modern day, 
How would understanding natural selection give us some useful advantages that can be utilized for various fields? With natural selection, we can understand resistance, evolutionary psychology, and conservation biology. Charles Darwin introduced the concept of natural selection, which presents a compelling argument for the wide range of life on Earth. Natural selection favors individuals with advantageous traits, best suited to the given time and place. Evolutionary change is driven by natural selection through various processes like overproduction, variation, selection, and adaptation, which influence the species traits. Various sources like fossil records, comparative anatomy, molecular biology, observational investigations all provide the evidence for natural selection. And that is all for today. See you on my demo teaching regarding selective breathing.